I just always had the, the underlying confidence that I, kn- I knew where I was going. I knew where I wanted to go with, with my life and stuff. And I remember teachers in school used to say to me, like, not many people make it as a footballer. And I'd be like, oh, I will. Now, a lot of money has been spent by Premier League clubs so far this transfer window. And one player who could add to that total is Anthony Gordon. Big breaking news and involves Newcastle United and they've completed the signing of Anthony Gordon from Everton. This is the player Newcastle United wanted. This the captivating story of Anthony Gordon's rise to prominence at Newcastle United is a testament to his talent, determination and hard work. It's a big outlay um, for a club to spend on him when he is relatively unproven. From being a relatively unproven player to becoming one of the first names on the team sheet, Gordon's journey is a remarkable one. With his continued development and consistent performances, he has the potential to achieve even greater success and establish himself as one of the Premier League's top talents. Anthony Michael Gordon, affectionately known as Gordo, was born on February 24, 2001, in the vibrant community of Kirkdale, Liverpool, England. Nestled within a tight-knit family, he is the cherished son of Nadine and Keith Gordon. Anthony, alongside his two brothers, Brandon and Reuben, embarked on an incredible journey through their formative years in Kirkdale, encountering both delightful moments and formidable obstacles. In the Gordon household, filled with boundless love, no daughters were to be found, with Anthony and his brothers forming an unbreakable bond that shaped their shared experiences. During Anthony Gordon's formative years, he developed a deep passion for football at the young age of three. It quickly became an integral part of his life, and he was determined to pursue a career as a professional player. One of Anthony's biggest inspirations was Leighton Baines, the celebrated Evertonian known for his exceptional crossing ability and precise free kicks. Baines' skills on the field became a blueprint for the kind of player Anthony aspired to become. A pivotal moment in Anthony's journey came when he had the opportunity to meet his hero, Leighton Baines. With anticipation, he waited at Everton's parking lot, hoping for a moment that would leave a lasting impression. Not only did he receive words of encouragement from Baines, but he also captured a photograph with him, symbolizing hope and possibility. Little did Baines know that the 11-year-old boy standing beside him in that photograph would one day share the pitch as his teammate. Seven years after their meeting, Anthony's determination and perseverance led him to line up alongside his childhood hero, fulfilling a prophecy that seemed unimaginable at the time. Anthony Gordon's educational journey commenced at Alsop High School, but his path took a momentous turn at the age of 13. It was during this transformative phase that he found himself transitioning to Wade Deacon High School, a pivotal move that coincided with his entry into Everton's academy. At Wade Deacon, Anthony not only continued his academic pursuits, but also immersed himself alongside fellow academy prospects, nurturing his passion for football. However, the switch to Wade Deacon wasn't solely driven by footballing ambitions. Anthony, reflecting on his own experiences, acknowledged that he hadn't been the epitome of a model student at Alsop and was in need of a change in surroundings. This transition sparked a remarkable transformation within him as he grew calmer, more focused, and gradually matured into an individual brimming with potential at Wade Deacon. The physical education teacher at Wade Deacon employed a straightforward yet highly effective strategy. In any given game situation, the plan was simple. Ensure that Anthony had the ball. Even at a young age, he stood out as an exceptional player, and the teacher's tactics were tailored to capitalize on Gordon's footballing prowess. Every set piece was meticulously designed to exploit his skills and maximize his impact on the field. Anthony Gordon's natural flair on the field caught the attention of onlookers, who quickly recognized his immense potential. However, there were aspects of his on-field demeanor that required refinement. Gordon had a tendency to confront his peers sternly over in-game mistakes leading to intense interactions that occasionally turned physical. His mentors, particularly his PE teacher Steve Griffin, couldn't ignore his behavior. Griffin took it upon himself to instill discipline in the young player. As part of his approach, Griffin would send Gordon off the pitch to reflect on his actions, aiming to help the youngster understand the significance of composure and teamwork. Despite the disciplinary measures, Gordon's talent was too extraordinary to be overshadowed. His reintegration into the game after discipline was swift, mirroring the rapid pace of his play, allowing him to continue shining on the pitch. Despite showcasing remarkable talent, Gordon faced a disheartening setback when both Everton and Liverpool academies let him go, 
citing his slight frame as the reason. During this challenging period, his parents became his greatest support system, encouraging him to bounce back. Driven by determination, Gordon joined Whiston Juniors, dedicating himself to honing his skills and building his strength. Little did he know that his journey would come full circle, leading him back to Everton, the very club that had underestimated his immense potential. A turning point in Anthony Gordon's fortunes came during a match in the St. Helens League, where Everton scout Ian Duke happened to be in attendance. On that occasion, Gordon's performance was nothing short of stellar, showcasing an extraordinary blend of athleticism, technique, and skill that distinguished him as a standout striker. Impressed by Gordon's remarkable improvement, Duke wasted no time reaching out to Martin Waldron, the head of academy recruitment at Everton. Despite initial reservations stemming from Gordon's previous release from the club, Duke persisted, emphasizing the young player's undeniable speed and untapped potential. Putting faith in Duke's judgment, Waldron agreed to offer Gordon another trial. Sent to a development center for further evaluation, it soon became evident that Gordon possessed the raw talent necessary for the academy. Although met with skepticism from certain coaching staff, his remarkable ability and unwavering dedication swiftly dispelled any doubts, showcasing his true worth and securing his rightful place at Everton. His talent and potential quickly caught the attention of the club, and on the 6th of December 2017, he was included in Everton's first team squad for a Europa League match against Apollon Limassol. The following day, Gordon made his much-anticipated first-team debut as an 88-minute substitute in a 3-0 victory. Gordon's breakthrough continued to unfold, and on 18 January 2020, he made his Premier League debut, coming off the bench to replace Bernard in a 1-1 draw against West Ham United. Later, on 26 June, he earned his first Premier League start in a highly anticipated Merseyside derby against Liverpool, which ended in a goalless draw. Having represented his country at under-18 and under-19 level, Gordon made his debut for the England under-20 during a 2-0 victory over Wales at St. George's Park on 13 October 2020. Demonstrating his growing importance to the club, Gordon signed a new five-year contract with Everton on 1 September, solidifying his commitment to the team. In search of more playing time, Gordon joined championship club Preston North End on loan for the remainder of the 2020-21 season, starting from born February 2021. Just five days after joining, he made his debut for Preston, featuring in the starting lineup for a league match against Rotherham United, albeit ending in a 2-1 home defeat. On the 5th November 2021, Gordon received his first call-up for the England under-21 and scored twice on his debut, a 3-1 victory over Czech Republic at Turf Moor in 2023, UEFA European under-21 championship qualification on 11 November 2021. Returning to Everton, Gordon continued to make his mark. On 16 December, he provided his first assist for the club, setting up Gerard Branthwaite's goal in a 1-1 draw with Chelsea. His breakthrough moment arrived on 2 January 2022 when he scored his first goals for Everton in a thrilling 3-2 loss to Brighton and Hove Albion. Gordon's impact continued to grow as he contributed both as a provider and scorer. On 12 February, he provided an assist for Michael Keane's goal and scored one himself in a 3-0 victory over Leeds United. Another significant moment came on 9 April when he scored the solitary goal in a win against Manchester United. In May, his performances throughout the season earned him recognition as he was named Young Player of the Year by both the senior team and the club's supporters. As his star continued to rise, Gordon attracted interest from other clubs, with Chelsea being linked to him during the 2022 summer transfer window. Now, a lot of money has been spent by Premier League clubs so far this transfer window, and one player who could add to that total is Anthony Gordon. Chelsea are pressing ahead with their move for the Everton forward, but Frank Lampard says there's not been a £60 million bid submitted. After nothing materialised in the summer transfer window with Chelsea, a huge shocking development occurred in the winter transfer window. With the January transfer window open, it's another chance to improve the squad. If the right player comes along at the right price... Sporting right director team, Dan Ashworth has been tasked with identifying players who could make an immediate impact. After numerous meetings and a number of names, one player 
is at the top of the list. Which brings us on to Anthony Gordon. So again, Anthony was a player we had a, a big interest in in the summer. We put an offer in in the summer. He actually hits a load of criteria for us. Good character references knows the Premier League and could hit the ground running for the second half of the season, so it would be one that we'd be really interested in exploring and seeing Everton would be interested in doing a deal. Well, Anthony would have the, the pace, energy, uh, quality that, that could fit our team. Um, I really like his enthusiasm and his infectious energy that he possesses. Yeah, his potential, I think, is, is very high, so he's a player we'd love to, to enter the squad. So last week we reported first here that Tottenham were looking at a package deal for Richarlison and Gordon. Uh, then earlier today my colleague Keith Downey reporting that Newcastle was showing an interest in Gordon. On 29 January 2023, Anthony Gordon completed a move to Newcastle United, signing a long-term contract with the club after submitting a formal transfer request to his previous club, Everton. According to BBC Sport, the transfer fee for Gordon was initially reported as £40 million, with the potential to rise to £45 million through add-ons. I'm so excited you've joined us. First of all, sincere apologies. We should be there with you uh, to greet oh, you and yeah. welcome you to the best club in the world. <laughs> um, you know, you, you know, I think, that you've been uh, top of our target list for a long time, so... We're going to look after you really well. He made his debut for Newcastle on 4th of February, coming on as a 69-minute substitute in a 1-1 draw against West Ham United. Gordon earned his first start for Newcastle on the 4th of March in a challenging match against Manchester City, although he was substituted in the 62 minute. Unfortunately, an ankle injury prevented him from participating in the following two matches. After recovering from his injury, Gordon predominantly featured as a substitute for the team. He returned to action on 2nd of April in a 2-0 win over Manchester United. However, in a match against Brentford on 8th of April, he experienced the disappointment of being substituted off after coming on at halftime. Gordon reacted angrily to manager Eddie Howe, who later clarified that the substitution was precautionary due to his ankle injury. As Gordon prepared to face his former club Everton on 27 April, he anticipated a potentially hostile reception upon his return to Goodison Park. However, Newcastle had already secured a convincing 4-1 victory, limiting his contribution in the match. On 28 May, Gordon scored his first goal for Newcastle in a 1-1 draw against Chelsea, marking a significant milestone in his time with the club. Sadly, it only meant that in the Premier League season, Gordon had appeared in 16 games for Newcastle United and had scored one goal. On 14 June 2023, Gordon was included in the England squad for the 2023 UEFA European Under-21 Championship. He scored during a group stage victory over Israel and also recorded the only goal of the quarter-final against Portugal. On 8th of July 2023, Gordon started in the final as England beat Spain to lift the trophy. Gordon was named player of the tournament and also chosen in the team of the tournament. The 2023-2024 season was the highlight reel for Gordon. On 12th of August, he provided an assist for Sandro Tonali's opening goal in a resounding 5-1 victory over Aston Villa. He continued to make an impact at home, scoring his first goal at St. James's Park in a 2-1 defeat against his boyhood club Liverpool on 27 August 2023. Another memorable moment came on 2nd December when he scored the only goal in a 1-0 triumph over Manchester United, matching Alan Shearer's record from 1999 by scoring in four consecutive league home matches. In the current season, Anthony Gordon has been a prominent figure for Newcastle United in the Premier League, featuring in the majority of the team's games. He has made 26 appearances, accumulating a total of 2,063 minutes of playing time. Out of these 26 appearances, Gordon has been selected to start in the starting 11 in 25 matches, while coming on as a substitute on one occasion. In a recent Premier League match against Wolverhampton Wanderers on March 2nd, Gordon showcased his goal-scoring prowess by finding the back of the net in Newcastle United's 3-0 victory. This goal contributed to his impressive tally of nine goals in the Premier League this season. Additionally, Gordon has also provided five assists for his teammates, highlighting his impact as a playmaker for the team. Gordon's contributions in terms of goals and assists demonstrate his importance to the Newcastle United side in the 2023-2024 season. His consistent presence in the starting lineup and his ability to make a significant impact on the score sheet have been instrumental in the team's success in the Premier League. Gordon's rise has been nothing short of remarkable. With each passing game, he exceeds expectations. 
His continued development and consistent performances hint at a future filled with even greater triumphs. It's only a matter of time before he solidifies his status as one of the Premier League's most sensational talents, leaving an indelible mark on the beautiful game. From being a relatively unproven player, he has transformed into an indispensable asset, earning his place as one of the first names on the team sheet. His story is an inspiration to all aspiring footballers, reminding us that with talent, determination and hard work, anything is possible. Be sure to click the video link on screen for more captivating stories on Newcastle United players.